awesome. <laughs> We got just over 20 seconds left. So our pump gas tune is flashing on the truck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, the goal is to get our pump gas tune flashing on the truck, fill it up with pump gas. And then for the first time, we're gonna take it out on the street on pump gas and go test it out, play around with it a little bit and see what it's doing. You guys remember, since we got it off of the dyno, it's been pretty much stuck on E the entire time. And I've ran through two full tanks of E just making sure that everything's been awesome with it. So we're back on pump gas today. I actually just got the tune finished flashing over here. So I'm gonna fill the truck up with pump gas and then we're gonna take it out and go play around with it and see what it does. I figured since we're already gonna be taking the truck out and we're gonna be on pump gas, we're gonna be stuck on wastegate. It's not gonna be as fast as what it typically is. So I figured that that would be pretty fun because well, I uh, might need to run the ZL1 against something for some baseline runs because we may or may not have some pretty crazy stuff about to happen mod-wise for the ZL1. And so before we do any crazy mods to it, we're not making, like this video isn't gonna be some crazy race video or anything. It's not gonna be crazy, crazy. It's more or less to run the truck on pump gas, on wastegate, against this car, on pump gas, completely stock, and see how they stack up. F-150, ZL1, 10-speed auto, Six speed manual. And the craziest part is that they really don't make that far off of power. Anyways, like I said, we've got a bunch of stuff that we're gonna be doing to this, but I wanna have something to baseline it to see how much faster this car is actually getting. We had a lot of fun doing that. If you guys saw the video racing, the GT350 against the F150, and that was like the most fun because we got to race them both whenever they were both stock. And then we did the whole entire turbo kit and everything and went back and re-ran them. And it was just like crazy to really be able to see on the road how much faster this thing has truly gotten. And so the goal to do the exact same thing with the ZL1. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get this truck filled up with pump gas, our tune is flashed on. Once everything's good, we'll come pick up the ZL1, do a little bit of racing, and then we'll, uh, I don't wanna tell you guys too much in this video. I'm so excited for the ZL1 stuff. I don't wanna, I don't wanna slip up and start talking about it. So I'm trying to think of what to, I don't know what we're gonna do after this, but we'll do something after this. Just stay tuned. All right, and these jugs, yep. He's got 93 in them. This was actually the 93 that we pulled out of the tank the day that we were swapping E on the dyno. So I'm gonna put the same exact pump gas back in there. Grab our nice little fill tube here. Ugh, pump gas just looks so gross. It looks like old lake water. <laughs> it's just been stagnated. I hate pump gas. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that. Pump gas is the worst. Normally whenever you're pouring E85 out of here, it's clear as can be, crystal clear. All nice and pretty. I think whenever we go out and do these runs, I'm gonna let Daniel drive the ZL1. I guess I'll drive the truck. Alrighty guys, we are completely full of pump gas. I guess not probably completely full, but we got a few gallons of pump gas in there. I'm gonna turn the ignition on. Oh, I'm gonna turn the ignition on and let the fuel pump cycle around all that pump gas and get that E85 out of the rails. take our battery charger off now that we're done flashing everything and yeah guys i seriously i can't even explain to you how excited i am to talk about this car and talk about everything that is going to be going on with it but the one thing that i will say right now to get you guys hyped up at least hopefully is that this is going to be the next build on the channel this is going to be the next car that you see video after video after video after video about and this is the one that we're going to be really focusing pretty much 100 percent of my efforts on in the next few weeks so trust me i'm not just forgetting about that car that's all i wanted to say <laughs> all right shut the hood now we got about a half a tank let's go ahead and start it up and see what it does So before we go out and take the ZL1 to go race, I've got to change the oil in it because it's, it's been a while, honestly. I've only changed it once since I've had the car since December, so it's definitely due for another oil change. I need to change the oil in here, and I also need to change the oil in the truck before we go race. So let me get this thing picked up in the air real quick, get it swapped out, get the truck swapped out, and then hopefully we'll go out and go run these things. All right, I definitely should have done this on the ground whenever it would have been 10 times easier to do. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I don't want to fall. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh. All right, guys, we got our oil blue blooping over here. While we're waiting on that oil to drain out, I'm going to go ahead and take our oil filter here and lightly prime it. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. Wow. 
I really didn't know that all of this was gonna be just coming in. So with the ZL1, since we're gonna be modding it and doing some pretty spicy stuff to it, in the next video you guys see with it, um, I've got in this box a new wideband. And so basically the wideband is just there to give me an AFR reading inside of the car so that we can see air fuel ratio while we're tuning. But we're gonna have to, actually this is convenient, the car's already up in the air. So I'm gonna see if I have another bung that can set this in or if I'm gonna have to get these headers modified or... Um, I wonder how I'm gonna have to do this. I really hope. So one of the stupid things about Chevy um, that, I, oh, they did send a bunk. Damn, dude, that's gonna suck. Ah, I'm gonna have to cut a hole out right here and put this in there and then weld this bung in so that way I can thread this wide band in and run it up into the car. But basically, Chevy cars do not come with factory wide bands. And why is that? I don't even know. Why would you have a track race car like a ZL1 Winelli and then have narrow band sensors for the oxygen sensors? That's just very, very, very stupid in my opinion, but whatever. So we have to install an aftermarket wideband gauge just to be able to actually do tuning with it. So I've got a gauge pod that I'm gonna be installing in the dash and finally this came in. So anyway, it's crazy that like this car is not even gonna have to have, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, most Ford cars and everything, they all come with factory wideband. So you don't have to, you can read AFR on the stock EcoBoost on the dash. You can see what the AFR is. So it's just kind of funny that not even that car, for whatever reason, comes with a wideband. I guess they just really don't want you tuning them. Like you said, all cars are pieces of shit. They are. Our oil is definitely drained out over here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna replace our oil drain plug here. Let me tighten that down, it's about good. So anyway, I'm gonna go next door and eat lunch real quick. And actually, no, nah. <laughs> let, let me put this on. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go eat lunch. <sighs> there we go. Hand tight, got this tightened down. So that's about it for that. Drain plugs tight, filter is tight. Everything's good under here. So I can go ahead and move our light and drain bucket out of the way here. And then I just gotta fill this car up with some oil and we'll be good to go. But first I need to change the truck's oil also. All right, now whenever I get back, we'll go ahead and fill this thing up with oil. Oh. That's a lot of oil. That is 10 quarts. So now go ahead and put our oil cap back on and I'm gonna check our oil just to make sure that it is actually in there. <laughs> Don't know where else it would go unless it's down here. Nope, no oil down there, so better be in here. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead, get this thing started up. Fresh new oil. This is gonna be loud. <laughs> Got good oil pressure up there at the top left gauge. Now I'm gonna kill it and let it sit. And then I need to check our fluid in a second. And then I'm gonna recheck the oil and make sure that we're all good. And a little bit low. Need a little bit more. Hello? Hello. Yeah, my name is Adriana from Advanced Medical Solutions. How are you doing today? I'm great. Good, good. That I need to confirm that do you have any heart issues or are you a diabetic? No, I'm not. Bye. Wow. So if I don't have any health issues, they can't talk to me. <laughs> I like how she doesn't even like have a nice day or not anything. Just, oh, you don't have any health issues? All right. Bye. Didn't even say that. Didn't even say that. Just was bye. Straight to the bye. Alrighty. One car down. Now I gotta pull the truck in here and do the same damn thing. <laughs> this is gonna take a lot of work.
Time to change the oil in the truck. As you guys remember, we haven't been running uh, AMS oil up until this point because we haven't really been doing anything crazy. Uh, I think it's safe to say that we began doing crazy things with the truck. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and today and get our oil swapped out. We're going to be swapping in our AMS oil 5W50. This is the first time really since we've been twin turbo that I've gotten to look inside of here. So I just want to double check over everything and make sure that we're not seeing any leaks or any anything really. I just got a text back from Midnight Performance. I'm trying to get them to get with me and see if they want to do it, but I'm trying to get them to do a, a built trans, a converter in here, and also um, head studs and oil pump gears, crank sprocket, all that stuff that we typically do. Dude, I am mind blown at how tightly fit everything is. It's all clear though. This kit has been doing phenomenal. Very, very impressed. Helican, shout out once again. All right guys, let's go ahead and get this oil changed in the truck real quick. All right, there we go. So now I've got our little fitting opened up. And as you guys see, it's actually, I, didn't, I thought I was gonna need a hose, but it actually just kind of spews out right there perfectly. So we'll let that drain out. Gotta replace our oil filter. And then after that, I'll fill it up with, ah, oh, I don't even have a new oil filter. Uh -huh. All right, oh, I got our new filter. I'm gonna slide up in here like so. Get that thing in there, get it hand tightened down. All right guys, I've got the filter in. I've got the drain plug tightened back down. So now I can lower the truck back down. Then I'll go ahead and get started filling it up with oil. I think it's funny how much heavier this truck is than anything else. You can literally tell just simply because you put it on the four post and whenever you go to lower it down, it drops so much faster than the other stuff. <laughs> whenever there's nothing on this lift and we gotta bring it down, it is so slow. Now I need to fill this thing up with 10 quarts of AMSOIL. This is pretty cool. We're finally going to AMSOIL on this thing. I never thought that I would have a freaking truck running AMSOIL, but here we are. Oil. Yeah, brother. Oil. All right, last quart going in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's 8.8 .8 quarts plus turbos, so it should be right about nine quarts. We'll go ahead and start this thing up, let it circulate a little bit, kill it, look for leaks, check the oil level, and after that, we'll be good to go. Sounds good, we're on pump gas, fresh oil change. Yeah. All right, no leaks underneath that I see. So at this point, I'm gonna let this sit for a few seconds, let all the oil settle at the bottom. We'll check the oil level and we should be good to go after that. All right guys, the oil change on the truck is complete. We'll get this door opened up, get the truck pulled out. We're gonna take the ZL1 and the truck out go see what they do against each other it's exciting because in the next few weeks the zl1 will be done with all the mods we got planned for it so by keeping this truck on pump gas and wastegate the perfect benchmark i really think so this is gonna be your first time driving a zl1 how fast is this compared to the roushy thing oh it's definitely faster definitely faster yeah well then this will be the fastest car i've ever driven you're gonna teach me how to drive this thing yeah clutch and brake down really yep and then start it <laughs> So now it's in tour mode, so it's quiet. Whenever y'all get ready to go, just put it down in the track with yep. that little mo thing. Okay. Leave traction control like it is, but the parking brake is a weird thing. You just gotta push the brake down and push down on the button to disengage it and pull up on it to engage it. Cool. Hell yeah. I'll Have try. Mind. Be careful. I will. I'll be getting adjusted to it. Oh my. I'm very jealous of you right now. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, this is so much tighter of a fit than and Mustangs. Bolstering, bro. So weird. Oh my god. Roll up your window. Oh my god. This is such a weird feeling car. Cool. Oh, this is gonna take some getting used to. All right, we are headed out to Mexico to go run the ZL1 in the truck. I never thought I would ever be running a freaking Camaro ZL1 1LE and a Ford F-150, but here we are. <laughs> I cannot even begin to tell you how nervous I am letting somebody else drive the ZL1. <laughs> I haven't let anybody drive that car. Literally no one except for Jess. Jess has been the only person that's driven that thing. But anyway, like I said, we are down on wastegate right now, so we're really not gonna be doing anything crazy in the truck at least. And if you guys are new here and you haven't seen the ZL1, the ZL1 is completely stock except for, it's got headers, a cat back. That's pretty much it. No tune, it's literally just 
That's it. Other than that, that car has not even been touched at all. Oh my God, dude. This is such a different car than I have ever driven. Please excuse any obnoxious driving I do on the way out there. <laughs> it is extremely strange how much the shifter is like jiggling. That is totally, I noticed it always watching it, but yeah. driving it's totally different. All right guys, before we get out there to run these things, comment down below, let me know what you think is gonna win. Turbo Hank, twin turbo freaking Shelby F-150, but it's only on low boost, wastegate on pump gas versus a bone stock pretty much ZL11LE. Comment down below, <laughs> let me know your guesses. I honestly, this is one that I can't even begin to tell you how I think it's gonna turn out. I really have no idea. I wouldn't be surprised if the car beat the truck. I wouldn't be surprised if the truck beat the car. I wouldn't be surprised if it was dead even on wastegate. I truly have no idea. <laughs> I do know one thing though, once that Camaro is done with these mods that we've got planned over the next few weeks, this truck is going to need E85 and be turned up a good bit to be able to hold with that car, I have a feeling. But more on that later. We're headed out to Mexico. I'll see you out there. Oh, God. Jesus, man. <laughs> this is my first time being able to see that car going down the road, and oh my gosh. That thing just looks ridiculous. I think this is going to be the first time Gavin actually gets to hear this go. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Dude, ah! I can't even see it. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he does. <laughs> so apparently, <laughs> old Hank will do some flamey do's on pump gas, but doesn't like to do it on E85. Honestly, I don't think I say this enough, but I really appreciate you guys for making this life possible. I don't know. I guess it's just riding and driving this truck, just sitting here by myself, thinking is just like. It really is crazy how much has happened in such a short period of time and how much that I'm able to do now just because of the platform that we've built. And that's just, I don't know, it's pretty insane to be honest with you. Just wanna stop and say I appreciate you guys a whole lot. I really do. I don't say it enough. And I definitely don't say it enough recently because I've been so stressed out lately and I just, my mind's been elsewhere, but trying to get that all fixed. If you guys can't tell, I've been a lot happier recently. I'm doing my best to get things a little bit better for you guys and definitely for me. So just wanted to say, Yet again, appreciate the hell out of you guys. This is probably one of the most unique cars I've driven. Like, production <laughs> The Z. Okay, look. <laughs> Laps in Z. Look, yeah, it's very, okay, very similar personalities between the two because they're not very comfortable to drive. They both feel like race cars, I'll say that. That's an easy way to put it. All right, guys, we have officially made it out to Mexico. Brother. Brother, y'all ready? How do you like the downshifting? It's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's very classy. All right, you ready? Yep. sounds ridiculous dude i didn't know that's what it sounded like we literally just locked eyes for <laughs> so long i was like what and we were like sitting right here that was fucking crazy could you even see how close we were i mean i knew you were next to me but i couldn't tell how far back up from the, the jump the mirror was at that door handle and never fucking left i couldn't behind Andrew but I couldn't see you in the rear view mirror either so like I knew you were right there all right let's give it another shot ready one two three That is crazy. 
crazy. We spun that time and I had traction control on so it wouldn't, I, I, that, I, I'm speechless, what the fuck? So the funny thing is that this is actually a really good comparison of turbos versus superchargers. As you guys saw in that first run, as soon as we took off, Daniel instantly edged out because the superchargers, instant torque. Turbo spooled up and we came and held right there at the door and never left. This time though, basically what happened was is I spun a little bit in the beginning he was able to get out because he's got some really sticky tires on that car. So he was able to get out a little bit in front of us and I couldn't reel him back in. <laughs> what is that, 102? Oh my God. I didn't know it was that hot outside. That thing is real fucking loud. Yeah. I never knew how loud. You've never had a chance to hear your own cars. No, that is crazy. All right, you ready? One more. Trans is getting a little hot, so this is probably going to be our last one and then we'll give it a break. You don't want the smoke. <laughs> I'm in his own car and I'm talking oh my shit. God. <laughs> Ready? are getting a little warm so I'm gonna cruise and let it chill off chill out a little bit dude I cannot even believe that that was just now that close like I'm actually legitimately mind blown right now I cannot even believe that I mean I guess I can because I did say before we came out here that I I would, I would believe any outcome but like wow that Z01 is very freaking fast, man. Like real fast, real, real fast. So I guess that was the first real world comparison that I've gotten to see how fast this truck truly is. Again, I think the craziest part about this is that, I, I, I don't even know, it's a, it's a truck, it's a truck. It is, it is a truck, it's a truck. <laughs> like, oh my God, dude, wow. I like this thing so much more. That right there was a perfect, freaking benchmark so we can just about say that before the z01 gets any big mods it was dead even with the truck on pump gas on wastegate let's see what we were making that time we were <laughs> we only touched 6.9 pounds of boost in the truck see so that is what's crazy guys is that that right there was on pump gas on wastegate against a z01 1le with a pretty good driver and like it, it, it's a truck <laughs> so if you can kind of understand whenever we were filming those reaction videos we haven't had a chance to really race too much with the truck yet because we've been getting it all dialed in and getting it all figured out and stuff like that it's been doing great you guys could just about imagine what it was like for the people who were riding in here that day we had it turned up to i mean another few hundred horsepower over this race right here so i mean I, what is fast I, I don't know like i thought turned up it was going to be about as fast as like a hellcat or a zl1 you know but that right there was um wow that right there was shocking on wastegate oh my god a little bit of e85 and this thing turns into a freaking monster man that is unreal to be honest with you i learned two things today i learned for one this truck is way faster than what i thought it was it feels fast, I know it was fast, but going fast in a truck because of the weight and how the size and everything, I thought in my head that I was going slower than what it actually felt like we were going, if that makes sense. So I didn't want to give the truck too much credit, <laughs> but like, damn, dude. That ZL1 is not a slouch. Look at that thing, that looks amazing, goodness gracious. The other thing that I learned today is that I, I really had no idea how loud that ZL1 was, Corsa. Give a round of applause, oh my God. What an exhaust note, Jesus. So with that being said, guys, I am super freaking excited to get some mods done to the ZL1. I'll give you guys a hint, it is not a cam, but we are going to pick up some serious freaking power by some simple bolt-ons. <laughs> I want you to comment down below and take your guesses on what we're gonna do to the ZL1 to pick up a, little, a good bit of power. Definitely over 100 horsepower at the wheel. So what are we gonna do to pick up over 100 wheel horsepower and make nearly 700, actually it's probably, hopefully, 
gonna make over 700 wheel horsepower with just a few changes. Actually, only two changes. If you guys can comment down below and get it right, I'll give a shout out to somebody in the video where we're doing it. But uh, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty damn awesome. Next video you guys are gonna see with the ZL1 is gonna be doing a lot of mods on it. So make sure you turn notifications on. Do not miss it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like, comment down below. Let me know what you think of how these races went. With that being said, guys, I'll see you next video. Yeah. <laughs>